How to buy a home with no money down. Coming up with the cash for a down payment can be a big hurdle for anyone hoping to become a homeowner. One of the biggest barriers to homeownership is not having enough cash to put down on a house at closing. While you might think you won't be able to buy a home if your savings account is looking a bit lean, there are some creative ways you can make it work. From specific loan programs to family gifts and more, the odds are good that you'll find a way to make your homeownership dream a reality. If you're tight on funds or just like to get creative when you buy real estate, then today's video is for you, as I will share with you some easy ways of real estate investing with no money up front. But before we proceed, do not forget to like and subscribe. No Down Payment Mortgage Now before we discuss a few methods of buying a home with no down payment, you need to understand the whole concept of no down payment mortgage. A no down payment mortgage allows first time home buyers and repeat home buyers to purchase property with no money required at closing except standard closing costs. I repeat, no money at all. This is big news for those who are willing to buy a home but do not have a big budget for a down payment. It's a terrific time to buy a home. Sales are rising, supply is dropping, and prices have increased in many cities and neighborhoods. Compared to next year, today the market may look like a bargain. Furthermore, mortgage rates are still low. Rates for 30-year loans, 15-year loans, and 5-year ARMs are historically cheap, which has lowered the monthly cost of owning a home. So now I will share with you some ways in which you can buy a home with no down payment at all. Grants and Assistance there are a number of down payment grants and assistance that can help you effectively buy a house with little or no money down. However, you might need to wait for a loan to be forgiven or for a tax credit to recoup down payment funds. Technically, somebody is making a down payment, but it might not be you. What you can do is search for local organizations that you may qualify for and ask a local Department of Housing and Urban Development representatives for any resources available. Some first-time homebuyer programs may also be helpful. These programs can be hard to find and they may have strict qualification requirements. That said, if you are the right fit for an organization, you may be able to get the help you need. This is one of the simplest and easiest ways to buy a home without paying a massive down payment. Piggyback Loans the next option for you to buy a home is a piggyback loan, sometimes known as 80-20 loans, which allow you to buy using two loans instead of a large down payment. Before the financial crisis, this strategy was popular. Now you'll need the right credit and income profile to qualify. To use this approach, you'd get a first mortgage for 80% of the home's value and as a result giving you an 80% loan to value ratio for that portion, which means you would not have to pay private mortgage insurance. The remaining 20% comes from a second mortgage that you get at the same time as your first mortgage. The second loan typically has a higher interest rate, so it may be smart to pay that loan off quickly. Check with local banks and credit unions to see if they offer 80-20 loans and learn about the requirements. This is a very suitable option for those who are planning to buy a home using loans. Opt for a Home Buyer Assistance Program if this is your first time buying a home, there are so many resources available to help you navigate these unfamiliar waters. Fortunately, there are also some programs available at both the local and national level that offer financial assistance to new home buyers and, in some cases, to previous homeowners as well. It could be worth looking into local programs, state programs, nonprofits, etc. VA loans. Another available option is VA loans. Only certain people are eligible for VA loans, including military personnel who are currently active, veterans who were discharged for reasons other than dishonorable, and unremarried spouses of veterans who were killed in action, died as a result of service-related injuries, are missing in action, or are prisoners of war. VA loans provide mortgages with competitive interest rates and offer qualifying applicants the opportunity to purchase a home with no money down and no need to purchase mortgage insurance. In fact, according to multiple reports, 
91% of VA buyers skip the down payment. If you qualify for a VA mortgage and do not have a lot of money to put down on a house, this product can prove quite beneficial and is worth looking into. Rent-to-own deals Next, we have rent-to-own deals. In a rent-to-own deal, you will actually be building up sufficient funds to make a significant down payment, but you will be able to live in the house you plan to buy while you do so. The way these deals work is that you rent the house from the homeowner and, in addition to your agreed-upon rent payments, you make an additional payment of about $100 to $200 each month. This extra money is set aside in an escrow account by the seller. After a given amount of time, usually three to five years, you can apply for a mortgage and purchase the house. All the money in your escrow account will go towards your down payment. There are some risks involved, however. If you do not or cannot buy the house at the time the leasing period is up, you will be required to forfeit to the seller all the funds you have accumulated toward the down payment. If you are interested in a rent-to-own agreement, it would make sense to talk to a bank about financing before you sign any papers with the seller. Ultimately, however, these agreements are not the healthiest financial path to home ownership. Partner on an investment One of the most common methods of investing in real estate with no money down is to buy an investment property using other people's money, OPM. You can find a private lender or funding partner willing to partner on the investment, giving you the funds you need to purchase the property. This could be the down payment alone or the entire purchase price in cash in exchange for a return on their investment. Partners could be family members, friends, or colleagues, and there are a variety of ways to structure their return, like a joint venture, JV, where ownership of the property or company is shared in respective percentages. Rental income, equity, and appreciation are typically shared with the partners respectively. Or a lending agreement where the investor receives a preferred return on their initial investment. Additionally, you can consider a private loan where the partner is repaid with a monthly repayment, which could be interest only with a balloon or a principal and interest payment, or a combination of the above methods. Most successful real estate investors will use a variety of the methods above to structure an offer to a prospective seller. It's likely you'll experience a lot of no's in response, but it's also not a rarity to buy a property with very little to no money down. So this brings us to the end of today's video. What do you think about buying a home with no money down? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching.